Balanced view is amazing. <laughs> it really provides a solution to all the kinds of confusion that we can find out there and in there and anywhere in between. It provides a proper solution that is current to the time that we are speaking about, which is now. And it's a solution that brings with it great benefit, and not just benefit to oneself, like a calculated benefit, I'll be nice today and compassionate today, and tomorrow I might be a bit self-indulgent. It's the full power and potency to be of complete benefit to all, all including ourselves. And that's, for me, totally radical and beautiful. And when we come together in the communities of Balanced View around the world, we really see that it's possible to live a life that is dedicated and fully devoted to the benefit of all. Now, this is not what I learned in school. In school, I learned that I need to achieve, I need to be a someone, I need to be strong, I need to be powerful, I need to conquer, I need to be a, a man in a certain way. And, and that really shaped lots of my relationships, the way I think about my thoughts, emotions and sensations. So you can see something along the way went a bit like funny or weird. <laughs> there started to be lots of focus on thoughts, emotions, sensations and experiences. Which ones are the good ones? Which ones are the negative ones? And which ones are the neutral ones? So there was a lot of focus on that. So for me, for example, having a quite dynamic display in my mind of thoughts, emotions, sensations and experiences, which in Balanced View, in order for me not to keep saying that, we just say data or data streams. Everything that we can perceive is data streams. And um, waking up in the morning, for example, and feeling all kinds of things, not just, wow, it's amazing to wake up to the sound of crows today at 6 a.m. <laughs> You know, there's like, oh no, <laughs> another morning, brushing my teeth again, oh, can't be bothered, oh wow, exciting, you know, always something fresh and new. In my case, most of the time negative. That's just the way it is, I'm happy with that. And uh, <laughs> in the past, I would really wake up in the mornings and then try to s sort out this kind of tension, the innate tension that I felt. and sorting it out by thinking, why do I feel like that for the last 25, 30 years? <laughs> who, who can I blame? Parents, for example, or my mom is here. <laughs> or, <laughs> or governments, the, the terrorism in the world, or, or what not. So, and then in balanced view, it, like, it comes and knocks on our door and they say, hey, hey, woman, hey man, uh, you're empowered to be of great benefit and actually there's a choice in every moment. Something I didn't know about. I thought that happiness and calmness and stability are random things, you know, like I took the right c concoctions of, of antidotes today, so that's why I feel calm today. I watched the right movies, I did enough yoga and I ate enough spinach. and. <laughs> and I meditated yesterday, so that's why today I feel good. But that's totally made up. <laughs> what about feeling good all of the time and not needing to apologize about it? And not just feeling good in a, some kind of a, hoo -hoo, I feel good, it's really in a totally grounded, totally capable way of being of benefit, powerful, in the true sense of the word, powerful. Balance View comes and introduces us to open intelligence. Open intelligence is what's present when we stop thinking for a moment. And if you want to try it right now, stop thinking for a moment. And see what remains. There's a sense of openness, clarity, cognizance that allows you to know the next thought or data stream. This is open intelligence, so now we don't need to be confused about it anymore. It's like a, a, a proper introduction, a direct introduction to the nature of mind. Open intelligence is vast and clear like a blue sky, clear blue sky. You can't find edges, it doesn't start here and finishes here. <laughs> you know, it doesn't start here and ends in the mic. <laughs> it's vast and expensive, and this is our true nature. Rather than being vague about it, we become very clear about it. And the way to do it is simply seeing that also after stopping thinking, surely there are thoughts and emotions that are coming back, like, 
Oh, I wish I ate more spinach, maybe. Oh, oh, interesting. I like this kind of stop thinking or what the hell is he talking about? Or, you know, whatever it is. Thoughts, emotions are the natural flow of open intelligence, so it's not a problem when they come back. But now we know that we have an opportunity to take short moments of open intelligence, repeated many times, until the instinctive recognition that open intelligence is always obvious become apparent. That was a long sentence. <laughs> but short moments of open intelligence, repeated many times, make open intelligence obvious in our own experience. So whether you wake up happy, sad, or depressed, or, or not, you can take a short moment of instinctively recognizing what's looking, what's always present, this power to know. It's not a detached state, like I tried things in the past, especially here in India, I must admit, where I was watching my thoughts and emotions and trying to come to a state of watching, like a cat watching a mouse. So I could describe very eloquently all of my feelings and all of my data streams and give them all kinds of labels and try to maintain a special state of mind. A special state of mind that maybe feels calmer or more relaxed or more aware or whatever you want to call it. But that was also just very confusing, because why? The simple fact is that open intelligence and our data streams are inseparable. They are not two things. They are inseparable like the color blue and the sky are not two things, or like the sun and its rays are not two different entities. It's one of the same. So that gives us really great comfort to know that our natural display of data streams, whatever it is, it's the dynamic energy of open intelligence. Now don't th sit and think about it like, oh, that's a nice proposition. <laughs> Maybe I'll write a book about it. <laughs> there are enough books on our <laughs> media point there uh, that really speak only about that and they won't, say you in, uh, won't tell to you in page number 50 yeah, and you are flawed and some of your things you need to fix in yourself by doing X, Y, and Z. There's nothing to purify. Everything is already perfect exactly as it is. There's no need to do anything about our data streams. They are already perfect and clear. Again, like the rays of the suns, we won't see them. Ray number one, you're great. <laughs> number two, mm, a bit flawed. <laughs> give you a bit of shine there, it's just like, wow, brilliant, like breeze, breathing in the air, leaving no trace. All of our thoughts and emotions are exactly the same. For me, it's a great relief. Having a very negative display could mean, could have meant for me for the rest of my life to be a victim of my data streams, to constantly effort to be, to try and be a better person. When I met Balance View, it stopped. Gradually it stopped and quite directly, I have to say. Because I gave up the right, I was given the opportunity to give up the right to be a victim of my data streams. Not analyzing myself, not judging myself, not avoiding, replacing or indulging my data streams. Which are very, all the techniques that all of us are here, are, we are experts of indulging our data streams, thinking, 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 thinking. Why am I angry? Avoiding them. I shouldn't feel that. I should come only to India. There, there's no anger. Or travel to the Bahamas, I don't know, or to wherever is good for you. Or replacing them, not feeling compassionate, wanting to punch everyone in the face, for example. I have this sensation every Monday <laughs> <laughs> at 10, it takes me a while to read this kind of clock. Anyway, 11. <laughs> In the past, I would say, how can I cultivate compassion? Or how can I be a better person? But in short moments of open intelligence, we see that compassion is innate. It's not a special feeling. You can really hate everyone freely. And by allowing it to be exactly as it is, you see that the great power to be of benefit is totally present. And I found that very amazing in specific relationships with people where they, some, you know, some people pisses you off sometimes, right? Unless you are in a total state of denial, that's the case. <laughs> you know, they say the wrong thing, they wear the wrong thing, they come from the wrong country, uh, and I don't know what, they eat the wrong food. Not like you, huh, how can it be? <laughs> so when we come to these kinds of relationships, 
it was amazing for me in the beginning to really practice short moments. Like all of my display was, uh, well, I can't stand them. Go away. <laughs> Please, go away. Or trying to be nice, be nice, smile, smile. <laughs> but internally, f feeling really fired up to do something about it. But then to take short moments and see, wow, there is love present whether I want it or not. So don't associate compassion with a certain feeling because that will be confusing. It will be like sometimes the switch of compassion is on and other times it's off. But in reality, in actual reality, it's always on. And it's getting brighter and brighter. And this is what we need in our, in our world currently. We really need the power to, be, to know each other exactly as we are and to get to know ourselves. So, Focus on yourself, on yourself and your own practice of open intelligence and see really that you find self-love in places where before there was war and self-hatred and violence. It's plain violence to mess around with our data streams. It's the greatest war that not many people are speaking about, but we are very well aware of. And this can come to a complete stop in short moments repeated many times. And Balanced Views offers uh, an incredible support network that doesn't just give you a, a, a practice and say, okay, see ya, nice, now you're introduced. It also gives you the opportunity to receive proper support, like we learn anything in life. So there is the practice of short moments, which you can all test now, regardless of the data stream you have. Just relax body and mind for a short moment and see, taste the power of open intelligence. And then we have the training. This is a training setting. We have trainings that we offer here throughout the season until the 7th of March and online. And lots of talks that are available, free talks and videos and, and books that can be downloaded or purchased. And also we have a trainer. For those of us who are committed to a life of benefit to all and have completed the 12 empowerments, which is one of the trainings of Balanced View, there is an opportunity to request and ask a person who is a trainer, a Balanced View trainer, can you be my trainer? Can you support me when it's difficult to me to rely on open intelligence? Can you support me in recognizing my strengths, gifts and talents? And then they tell you, probably yes. <laughs> and that's great. Grab this opportunity and don't put it aside because you think you know it better. Um, and then we have the community of people in Balanced View, which are just the best friends ever, exemplifying power and benefit. So this is a bit of introduction, and I just wanted to say also, when there's a question about sex, I feel obliged to speak about it. <laughs> <laughs> but as I said, my mom is here, so it would be... Uh, <laughs> how do you call it? R-rated or <laughs> PJ-16? And uh, yeah, sex is a great data stream. Also, lots of potency, right? Uh, especially in Goa, you go to the beach. Some people came from a magazine. Other people came from other places. And it evokes, <laughs> <laughs> and it evokes all kinds of things. I know I, I'm not blind to that. Uh, in the past, if I would come to a situation where there would be some kind of a, an attraction maybe coming up, and uh, now I'm married, so conventionally you think, oh, <laughs> oh no, I shouldn't think that. I hope my wife doesn't see it ring, ring, ring on my finger. Uh, I shouldn't have these kinds of thoughts and emotions. But then to allow these to be exactly as they are, to allow the wild display without acting on it necessarily just shows us how powerful we are. Again, it's the love connection. You, know, you can be attracted to anyone. At one point, in the training up of open intelligence, there comes a point where we can have sex with anyone, really. But don't worry, <laughs> we take responsibility. Or maybe you really want it, but no. <laughs> we, we take responsibility. So it's really interesting to come and see the entire display where in the past there would be only heavy indulging, avoiding or replacing. So your question is great and it shows that you really care. Now you people that are getting to know open intelligence are really becoming more brighter, more powerful, more confident. That's just the way it is, because this is how we were meant to live. So it's great to ask ourselves when we come in, 
I'll take many more short moments and I'll kind of be bright today, go on the beach all confident and pumped up <laughs> with open intelligence pride, which, you know, we all have to go through that. Then to really ask myself, wait, what will be of most benefit? Am I presenting a piece of meat that I want other people to drool on? Or, am I, or do I really want to be of great benefit to all? And these are quite, the, it makes a distinction, really. It makes a great distinction. doesn't mean that you won't feel attracted or that you want other people to be... It doesn't mean that we don't have sex. I don't want to scare you, the newcomer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can still enjoy sex in a much more profound and simple way. That, that's definitely my experience. Whether it's sex with yourself or with a partner or a few other people. So it really, it really, everything is possible in, in open intelligence, but the direction and focus and the pure dedica dedication and devotion is what will be of most benefit. And this is open, opens up a great treasure in life. And the Four Mainstays are totally available for us, totally available for us to make it not just nice or, <laughs> or known some of the time, but obvious. You know, the word obvious has great meaning when it comes to that. Complete confidence, assurance, the end of seeking and searching and the end of confusion. So that's why I started and I said, wow, Balance View is, is amazing, you know. With, that's the assurance and that's my life experience.